Hey. The topic I am going to discuss is basics of testing hypothesis. Hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is used in statistics to make inferences about a population based on a sample of data. It is a systematic way of testing whether an observed effect or relationship in the data is real or just due to chance. The basic idea behind hypothesis testing is to formulate two competing hypotheses. A null hypothesis, H0, and an alternative hypothesis, HA. Null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is a statistical concept that represents the default assumption that there is no relationship between variables. In other words, the null hypothesis states that any observed relationship or effect is due to chance. Researchers start by assuming the null hypothesis is true, and then use data to either support or reject this assumption. If the data supports the null hypothesis, then the researcher accepts the null hypothesis and concludes that there is no relationship between the variables. On the other hand, if the data does not support the null hypothesis, the researcher rejects it and concludes that there is a relationship or effect present. The null hypothesis is usually represented by the symbol H0, and is a statement of equality, such as there is no difference between the means of two groups or there is no association between two variables. H0 is, mu1 equals mu2. Mu1 is, mean of population 1. Mu2 is, mean of population 2. Alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis is the opposite of the null hypothesis in a hypothesis test. It represents the possibility that there is a relationship between variables. The alternative hypothesis is usually represented by the symbol HA, and states what the researcher predicts to be the outcome of the experiment or study. For example, if the null hypothesis is there is no difference between the means of two groups, the alternative hypothesis might be there is a difference between the means of two groups. HA is, mu1 is not equal to mu2. The goal of a hypothesis test is to determine whether the data provides evidence to support the null hypothesis or the alternative hypothesis. If the data supports the alternative hypothesis, the researcher rejects the null hypothesis and concludes that there is a relationship or effect present. If the data supports the null hypothesis, the researcher accepts it and concludes that there is no relationship or effect. And, I would highly recommend you to watch my previous video on power of a study to get more knowledge on hypothesis testing and errors that can occurs in hypothesis testing, please watch that video. Link will be in the description. Level of significance, alpha. Level of significance is a critical concept in statistical hypothesis testing. It refers to the threshold of rejecting the null hypothesis, and it is expressed as a probability value, typically denoted by alpha. The level of significance is a measure of how much evidence is required to reject the null hypothesis and to accept the alternative hypothesis. In hypothesis testing, the level of significance determines the probability of making a type 1 error, false positive, which is the error of rejecting a null hypothesis when it is true. A low level of significance means that a higher standard of evidence is required to reject the null hypothesis, and a high level of significance means that a lower standard of evidence is required. In practice, a common level of significance is 0.05, which means that there is a 5% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when it is true. However, the appropriate level of significance depends on the specific circumstances of each hypothesis test and should be determined based on the specific goals of the analysis. P-value The P-value is a measure of the strength of the evidence against the null hypothesis. It represents the probability of observing the data given that the null hypothesis is true. If the P-value is less than the level of significance, alpha, the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative hypothesis is accepted. P-value less than alpha. Null hypothesis is rejected. If the P-value is greater than the level of significance, the null hypothesis is not rejected, and the researcher concludes that there is not enough evidence to support the alternative hypothesis. P-value greater than alpha. Null hypothesis is not rejected. The p-value is calculated based on the sample data and the assumed distribution of the population.
if the p-value is low, it means that the data is unlikely to have been generated by chance, and the null hypothesis is unlikely to be true. In other words, a low p-value provides evidence against the null hypothesis. It is important to note that the p-value is a continuous value that ranges from 0 to 1. A value of 0 indicating that the data is extremely unlikely to have been generated by chance, meaning the null hypothesis won't be true, whereas a value of 1 indicates that the data is fully consistent with the null hypothesis. The p-value is compared to the level of significance, which is a critical value set by the researcher, to determine whether to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like. Subscribe for more videos and also share with all your pharma mates. Thank you.